Hello, you all. Welcome back to Let's Deal With It. I've had a very wonderful day. Praise the Lord. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. I finished my niece's little doll babies. The hair is all filled in. I re sewed the bows on separate little hair bands like this so that they could take them off. They can braid it. I will show you guys before I take it to them. I need to get them their dolls back. And... um. Yeah, so it took a while, like almost three hours um, on both heads because I sewed the yarn in. I would love to show you guys, but I'll show you the next video. Also, I did the bows and uh, what else did I do? Yeah, I was working on my sister's um, makeup and um, jewelry organizer. So beautiful. I got one done and I started uh, Sister Gina's and... Um, Sister Erica's, and I, I'm actually making the lady at my bank one, of course, right? Hello, that's my girl. So uh, I think I'll show you guys hers. But anyway, uh, let me get it. I'll sh I can share that with you guys. Hold on one second. I can't wait to tell you guys what happened to me tonight. <laughs> if you say, "Wow, you're dressed up, Marsha," yes, I didn't make it back to the one little church I was. Well, it's not a little church, but it's decent size. I just didn't feel led to go back there this morning. It was kind of, um, to be honest, very dead, very dead church. Um, very sad, you all. Uh, it, it's, it's a troublesome day. It is a uh, perilous times. And when I tell you we are in the highest time of deception, uh, people no longer recognize when the Holy Spirit is on a vessel. Nope, they do not, you all. I said they do not, you all. It's what I witnessed tonight blew my mind. I mean, I was in shock. Anyway, I'm going to hold my peace because I'm actually going to go check out something further. Uh, but what I will say is this. Uh, there was a pastor there, a tender, beautiful man of God. Uh he was there and he actually spoke tonight and he spoke so perfectly, so sound doctrine. He came from Ephesians chapter five and I absolutely plan on reading that you all, to you all. It, it's just confirmed everything I've been on and I am going to um, let him know that. I happen to know him uh, pretty well, pretty well, wonderful man, uh, beautiful wife and family just a, a beautiful human being in Christ. But I can see that the Lord has done a work in this um, man of God. Praise the Lord. I tell you, it will be the humble that's going to receive more grace. And it will be the humble that bring in this last harvest. Yes, indeed. So I just want to share some things with you guys. Hold on one second. Hold on, guys. I'm cooking. I haven't had nothing to eat today. Hold on. Woo, my Lord and my God. <clears throat> okay, guys. Okay, so you guys, here is the one that I made for my banker. And you can actually put your jewelry on here. It's absolutely beautiful. Yep, you can lay your earrings on here. Ladies, yep, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I call this a two-way. These are, uh, uh, it has two looks in one. If you're feeling more flowery, or if you're feeling more bling bling, you like the bling bling. So yes, so this is what I made for my girl at the bank. Yes, indeed, just gorgeous. So you can use it as, you know, jewelry holder, your makeup, your brushes, your sponges, and then this is where your makeup would go. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to share that with you all and I'm working on sister. Oh, I'll show you what sister Erica's has looked like so far. Oh. 
Okay, guys, I'm, I'm so not used to dealing with feathers. This is Sister Erica. It looked like her too, boy. I've never done anything with um, feathers. So this is the first one. This will hold her makeup. So I am steadily working at that, praise God. And it feels wonderful because I really haven't had, you know what, to send it off. So I didn't even get them made, but looks like I'll be able to send them off. Cause I didn't want them to have to, you know, pay for me to send them, but Sister uh, Juliet, she was ready to get hers. She says, Marsha, I will send it. And she got hers and hers is beautiful. I actually customized hers to literally match her shower curtain. It's made of seashells and man, it looks just like her shower curtain. It's beautiful. So anyway, you all, I, I don't even know where to start. I'm actually stunned. First of all, you guys know I don't go to uh brick and mortar churches anymore i'm i'm really done unless in the holy spirit leads me to go somewhere then i will go so one of my beautiful friends uh the young lady that's been my just about most faithful client i've been taking care of her hair over two years now and it is the girl's hair is so long especially in the back it's this long but in the front it's about that long yes her hair is gorgeous so anyway, you all, I do her silk presses. She's beautiful. I just love my girl. She is, when I said a handful of, not handful, about maybe five people that are decent, truly beautiful souls here in this very, okay, anyway, <laughs> you guys, pray with me, okay. Tonight, I was stunned. It wasn't being shocked. It confirms so much for me. Oh my goodness, you all. We are in the high time of deception. Do you all hear me? Oh, there is no doubt about it. So I want to thank God for um, Pastor Chuck. He is a beautiful soul. Him and his wife are tremendous, beautiful people. Um, the Lord used him to confirm a lot of what I've been teaching on and everything. When I read to you the passage that he read tonight and he wasn't long he wasn't drawn out he didn't try he didn't get in his flesh it was truly anointed it was a pure word because it came straight from the bible but anyway you all <clears throat> get out your bibles i'm telling you we are in a very serious um critical time when i tell you we are worn over time and this dispensation of grace, it is rolling back like a scroll. It is, it's almost over. Um, I, oh yes, one of the sisters asked me about Catherine's, uh, little prophetess Catherine's um, rapture dreams. All you have to do, sister, is put in Catherine rapture dream. They will all come up. And I think she spells her name with a, with a, K or is it with a C? Just try it with both. I'm sorry it just hit me when you asked me. Um, I will look it up and I will come back on when I come back on again. And I will let you know if it's spelled with a C or a K. But I think it's a, it might be a C, but you just put in Catherine's Rapture Dreams or Little Catherine's Rapture Dreams. Powerful. I said that to say this, also to remember about you sister asking, but um, I just don't like using gel. I, it's just not me. But anyway, these grays. So, uh, little prophetess Catherine's dream is looking more and more like we're going to be leaving when the ball drops. I can be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, in a way, I hope so. In a way... I'm not going to say that. The Lord knows. He paid the cost to be the boss. He knows when he's coming. Amen. The father knows when he's going to go and tell his son, go get your bride. And you all, it's not much longer. This The world is so corrupted, especially the brick and mortar religious system. It's over. There are not many sound places of worship in this world. Mm -mm. No. Ooh, uh -uh. No, 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 no. So anyway, I know you guys are like, Marsha, you went. I know you probably shocked, but it was tonight. 
my girl asked me, um, she thought I already knew about it, but I didn't, I wouldn't know, but um, I just felt compelled to go. I just sensed I had to go. Definitely it was meant. Definitely it was meant. So uh, the Lord is awesome. He ain't nothing to play with. We need to get the fear of God, you all. But I'm going to wait on something until I investigate a little further. Because he said, hold your horses, hold, hold your peace. You know, the Bible said, if we cannot bridle our tongues, that is very bad. One of the fruits of the spirit is self-control. And it says, he that does not know how to bridle his tongue. I can't remember the rest of it, but I know it's very bad. It's very bad, you all. It is. It is. So anyway, uh, Pastor Chuck really blessed me tonight. He really did. It was like confirmation. So I want to go over the scripture that he gave and even talk about some things he hit on because I was like, wow, this the Lord has done a work in him. Always been a sweet spirited, loving, compassionate, caring pastor and human being. But I could see so much growth in this man from him coming where he came from tonight. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Let me check my chicken, y'all. <laughs> I can't burn my chicken, y'all. I'm hungry. Oh man, you all, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away, but I'm going to hold my peace. I did want to share this. There was a sister there. I've known her since she was a little girl and she's all grown up. You talking about a sharp sister inside and out. I never knew she sang. I never knew that she sung the gospel. I never knew that. The young woman is highly anointed. I mean, and you know what got me when she said, I was sitting here saying to the Lord, what am I going to sing, Lord? What am I going to sing? And he said, you're a hymn girl. Sing, sing hymns. And I was like, oh, this was for me. This was because I don't trust none of these gospel modern day singers. No, 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 no. I said, no, 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 no. Hill song and the rest of them. Uh, uh, what's the other one? Hill song and um, ooh, we, ooh. I'm gonna get off of that. But I was thinking the good Lord that uh, the young woman heard the voice of God and the Lord knew that she's a worshiper. And when I tell you she is, she is. So she sung about three, four songs. And I'm telling you, she sung, um, what was it? It was like the one that I was trying to sing the other day. What a friend we have in Jesus. And and it, I, I just, I'm so pumped up right now. I, I, you guys, I'm messed up. I'm messed up right now. But she sang also, um, uh, oh goodness, so much is going through my mind right now. Y'all, man, okay, she sung, all oh, because we, it's not, um, what a friend we have in Jesus, but it also, she led into another one and another one. That's when you know you're a worshiper, when you can just flow into the next song. Amen. Yes, Lord Jesus. I said, yes. And she had them hymns. And then she sung, um, I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I was, I was greatly blessed. So she sung about four songs, I do believe. And, uh, and, uh, the victory. Oh, she, oh, she, she just, you guys, my mind is on something else because of this word. But I was greatly blessed by the sisters' worship and praise. And when I think of the songs, I'll come when I come back on, I'll tell you them. But I know it's what a friend we have in Jesus. And um, I love you, Jesus. It was glorious. It was so anointed. It took me back when I was a young child. Do you hear me? Okay. Then there was uh, um, there was another. There was about four or five churches there, I believe. But um. There was these three other people who came on before the young lady. Beautiful. And I want to show you guys something. The Lord want me to tell you this. When there's a lot of heaviness in the spirit, 
a lot of people think that Jezebel is a spirit, that it's a actually, it could be a male or female, but I want you guys to know, Jezebel was a woman and she did. I said Jezebel was a woman and she did. It is not the Jezebel spirit, it's the Shiva spirit. When I tell you God be bringing me truth, see, when you love truth, he going to bring you to more truth, greater truth. You say, how did you know that? How did you know there's no Jezebel spirit? Nope, it's not. First of all, that was Ahab's wife. She ain't got no power over no bhakti. She dead and more than likely in hell. So all this wrong stuff we've been taught is wrong. It's straight up error. The spirit that controls people in the brick and mortar is the Shiva spirit. It is a Hindu uh um, goddess. It is a demonic spirit of control. And that Shiva spirit is all in the music industry, the arts, and is the biggest spirit, one of the biggest spirits. I'm not going to say the, but it's, it's close to it because the homosexual spirit, unclean spirit, have taken over a whole bunch of brick and mortars too. Oh yes, I said it. Now, this Shiva spirit, I said, look at it blew my mind today what the Lord led me to. You guys, I learned this from his name is Earthquake Kelly. He used to be a boxer. He was cracking me up, bro. I was like, okay, bro, okay. <laughs> and why did he say, oh, the Lord be showing me. He got me. He's, he's leading and guiding me. How about he said, you want to get a devil? Bam! I said, no, he did not. So you know I was captured, okay? But anyway, he said, there's no such thing as a Jezebel spirit. It ain't the male nor female spirit. It's not in, rather, it's not in male or females. No, nope, she did. And more than likely in hell. He said, it is the Shiva spirit. I said, you got, and you say, well, how he know the brother was taught all kind of witchcraft. When I tell you he was a prince in witchcraft, his, his he, I'm going to write down a video for y'all. Y'all got to see this. And he has three on this young lady's show. She's so beautiful inside and out. She's sharp. Listen to me. He going to blow your mind. He, You all powerful. I said, Lord, we've been thinking that Jezebel spirit is really real. Jezebel was the one who messed up Elijah. Elijah, the prophet Elijah, if I'm not mistaken, somebody help me. But she is the one that came after the prophet of God had him running, hiding under a dog on tree. And the man just called down the almighty Yahweh's fire from heaven. You see how witchcraft is? Now, she was definitely of a, of a witchcraft spirit, no doubt about that, Ahab's wife. Uh, but ain't no Jezebel spirit in no church, rather male nor female. It's called the Shiva spirit. Oh, yes. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Oh, I can't burn my chicken, y'all. Mm-mm. 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 Lord have mercy. Woo! We've been taught so much stuff. So much error. It's mind-blowing, y'all. It's mind blowing. That juice, boy, that chicken juice be popping. I mean, swearing. It pops too. Okay, y'all. Ooh, we, ooh, we, ooh, we. I, I, I'm, I'm in sun. I'm sun right now, y'all. Okay. All right, saints. I'm, I'm, I'm stunned. My, my day was so blessed. It was so blessed. It started off with Earthquake Kelly. It's over two hours long, but it's captivating. It, You know, the man kept quoting, the Lord said, my people perish for a lack of knowledge and a lack of understanding. He kept saying understanding. I said, ain't this the Lord? Yes, he kept saying, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. And he said, folks, we got to get understanding. Ooh, we, I said, this is the Lord. This is the Lord. So, okay. I'm going to write down that young lady's ministry. And the man's name is Earthquake.
Quick Kelly. He's a boxer. He was a boxer and something else, but he was in the occult. He was in the witchcraft so heavy, it's not even funny. He said there are 200 demons. I do believe he said 200 things about demons that the saints need to know that that he I think he says saints he might have said Christians but anyway and he was saying how um isn't it amazing how he said Jesus will save people like him because he knows that the church is not studying and becoming aware of the warfare that we're really in as believers the man, and he's so funny, but so, so practical and humble and down to earth. You kind of can get your eyes off of the profound knowledge, wisdom, and understanding he has about demons and um, how they can, ooh, y'all, I, I, I was blown away. I was blown away. If, ooh, the Lord is so good. He... When you love the truth, he will bring you way deeper truths. Yes, he will. I say, yes, he will. So anyway, I, I will write those videos down. And um, the name of the young lady, she beautiful inside and out. And she was funny too with him. I love people who are so funny and down to earth, but yet so anointed and give God all the glory, honor, and praise. You will see him do that as well. Wow. Praise the Lord. Ooh, we, cause these glory stillers, they're done. I said they done. Okay, you all, let's pray. So Heavenly Father, I just want to come this evening, giving all glory, honor, praise, and worship to your holy name. I want to thank you how you led me to go to that service. It, Lord, you are so awesome. There's no one like you. I want to pray for Pastor Chuck, Lord. I pray that you multiply him, that you grow his ministry. I do. And and Sister Patty Austin, wow. For her to have the man that I seen last night, you had to send that man to her. And I just want to thank you, Father, for that husband and his wife. Truly beautiful. And my sister, that ministered by the Holy Ghost power and that man is and his wife and the other sister that was kind of like they little praise team, I believe. I was so blessed. I needed that. Father, thank you. Thank you. So I just come this evening, Lord, to give them confirmation on how you have led me all the way about being carnal, lukewarm, and thinking once can be one can be once saved, always saved, impossible. So, Lord, I just thank you for your word. Holy Spirit, help us to rightly divide the word of truth. Help us to understand Jesus when you said, if you continue in my word, then you will be my disciples. Help us to understand that your requirement is that we deny ourselves, pick up our cross and follow you. Yes. And then you said, blessed is he that when you come, you find so doing. Doing what? Watching and praying. Oh, yes. Watching and praying. Oh, yes, indeed, Father. So I thank you for your infallible, holy, glorious word, able to save our souls. We know it can, it get, Jesus gives us a brand new spirit, but what about the soul? What about the soul? What about our minds that need transformed and renewed and we needing a new heart? Yes, Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for this, for your word. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for just helping me just to give it to them exactly as it reads. Amen. Don't subtract. Don't add. Amen. Keep it simple, saints. Ain't that something? You all, I cannot wait to do what he told me to do before I give you what I really want to give you. But I got to wait. I got to wait. But I'm going to give you what this pastor said tonight because he was right on. So this is what he said. He read from Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. Be ye, and it's in all caps, B, and E is in cap, and ye, Y-E, is in caps. That's, that's, that's great emphasis. And people wonder why I use caps because I'm making great emphasis. 
We is in crunch time, you all. And we are at the highest height of deception. Be ye therefore followers of Yahweh as dear children. And walk in love as Christ also loved us and have given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to Yahweh for a sweet smelling savor. You see that the sacrifice he paid for us is no joke. It is no, no one's going to have an excuse. No one, you all. But listen, listen, you all. Verse three. Did I turn everything off, Lord? Yes, I did. Verse three. But fornicators, do you see how it went right on in there? Do you? It, it went right on in there. So these pastors who keep giving you bubble gum and gummy bears, they're not doing you no good. They're not being a true sheep dog and an authentic shepherd over your soul. No, ma'am, and no, sir. It ran. It went right on in there. But fornication. And all clean uncleanness. If this wasn't the Lord confirming, God bless Pastor Chuck. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetedness, let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. It 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 don't say Christians. I was gonna read it again. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetedness, let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. Becoming saints. Verse 4, neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor gesturing, which are not con convenient, but rather give, but rather giving thanks. Verse five, for this ye know that no whoremonger, no unclean person or covetous man who is an idolater have any have any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of our Yahweh let no man deceive you with vain words and you know what that's talking about your Carlton Pearsons your Jamal Bryant and all these muchy much T.D. Jakes too, because he's another one that used big swelling words. And Paul said, I didn't come to you with eloquence of speech. And he is just about one of the most intelligent men in the Bible. I'm coming out. Bam, bam, with two fists. Because people are being totally deceived and getting ready to be left behind and worse, busting hell wide open. Oh, yes. Wait till I tell you what he said. I, I said, oh, the Lord has been helping that man of God. There is nothing more beautiful than a humble soul, especially a leader. There's nothing more beautiful. The only one that is more beautiful is Yeshua HaMashiach. And if the almighty Yahweh can come down off his throne, put himself in a human body, you better believe he humbled himself for you and I. And we think we something, we are nothing. The Bible said in him who thinks himself to be so much, he's nothing. She's nothing. Oh, but wait till I tell you what the man of God said. The Lord bless him. First, this ye know. Oh, I read that about the whoremongers and no unclean person, no covetousness, covetous man, 
who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of Yahweh. Verse six, let no man deceive you with vain words. For because of these things cometh the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. You all, this is not the time to play with the Holy Almighty Yahweh. I, I said this is not the time. It never is. But especially in this last hour. No, no. This is why the Bible says the Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. And depart from sin and iniquity and go about doing good. See, you doing some type of work. You doing the work of sinning or you're doing the work of salvation. And we are only righteous because of the righteousness of Jesus. He is the reason why we can be righteous and live a sanctified, holy life. But are you? Since you say he's your uh, savior, can't tell you your Lord. Mm -mm, can't tell it. You all, when this man, of God, I said, what you say? I, I said, oh, I, I had to calm down. I had to calm down because you don't hear ministers preaching like this and teaching like this. No, they telling you God wants you wealthy, happy, and healthy. Live your best life now. Never mind you got a covetous spirit. Never mind you're unclean. You're living in uncleanness, fornication. Never mind you're a masturbator. Never mind you're lying and slandering and gossiping. No. Get what you can, all you can, while you can. Okay, let's go on. Verse 7. Be not ye, therefore, partakers with them. And guess what he said? Y'all y'all know I had to calm down, right? Y'all know I had to. Help me, Jesus. I, I I was so blessed. I felt such a peace. The man gave me hope in this place. He said, this is not talking to sinners. I ain't never heard nobody say that. I said, I ain't never heard no pastor, no preacher say this. He said, you guys realize he's not talking to sinners. And then he said, we are not to judge the sinners. We know they're not saved. He said, but we are to judge each other. I said, no, he didn't, Jesus. Oh, my God. Bam, bam. You hear me? Folks is going to hell in droves, heaps of souls. In the religious sector about the bus hell wide open. He said it. He said it, you all. He did. I said, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. He said, for ye were sometime, sometimes darkness. Were. But Marsha, once I'm saved, always saved. It doesn't matter if I'm lukewarm or carnal. Okay, but now are ye light in the Lord? Walk as children of light. Yes, he did read this, you all. See, the Lord wanted me to go, didn't he, y'all? He wanted to say, sister, sister, he wanted to say, daughter, I'm working on those who are allowing me, who are humbling themselves to me. Because he ain't going to make it be a do right. No. I, I said he not going to make us do right. No. Uh-uh. He said whosoever will let him come. This is something else. I, I, the man gave me hope for this place. He He really did. 
He said, I read that again. For ye were sometimes darkness. This is before we came to him. And that doesn't mean we haven't stumbled, haven't sinned and fallen short from time to time and now again. But to practice a lifestyle of sinning? Okay. But now are you lights in the Lord? Walk as children of light. Semicolon. For the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth for the fruit of the spirit is in all goodness righteousness and truth verse 10 proving what is acceptable unto the lord and having no fellowship with the unfruitful work see that that's why i say y'all is doing some type of work you is see that it there's the scripture for it Watch this. Having no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. And what did I teach you guys? Another word for darkness is sin. Sins. S-I-N-S. -S. Mm -mm. We do not want to live sinful lives. If you are living a sinful life, you're doing unfruitful works of darkness. We're not children of the Lord, but rather reprove them. He said, read it again. And have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Guess what the man of God said? I'm, I'm, be, I'm godly proud of him. And I pray the Lord bless him and raise him up in these last and evil days. He said, yes, I'm a pastor. And if you see me doing something wrong, don't just embarrass me. He said, pull me to the side. You, you all know I'm tripping, right? In a good way, right? You, I'm tripping with luggage. <laughs> I, was, I said, no, I thought I was dreaming. You hear me? Okay. For it is a shame even to speak of these things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifested by the light. For whosoever doeth, for whosoever doeth make manifestation, I mean manifest, no, excuse me, for whosoever doeth make manifest it's light. Do you see that? We are supposed to judge people. Yes, we are. Not condemn. He said that too. I love it. Oh, he said, if we judge ourselves, we won't even be judged. He said, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, not only to forgive us, but to cleanse our conscience from all dead works. What is dead works? Darkness. Uh, darkness of sins and when he was when he was reading these scriptures I was peeping the scene on the against the lean folks did not like it they did not like it mm -mm. but you know they're going to remember these words of the Lord Holy Lord words right yes they are Verse 13, but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whosoever doeth maketh manifest is light. So that means we have an obligation as saints who walk in the light of the truth of Jesus Christ. He said, daughter, you see that? I said, oh, I'm hearing it. I'm seeing them and I'm, I'm hearing them. Speak your truth plain verse 14 wherefore he said awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Christ shall give thee light who you think is talking about when it says sleepers the carnal the lukewarm 
itching ear, once saved, always saved, Lord, Lord, communities, talking to you all. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I would like to look up the corresponding scripture on that one, a couple of them, I will. 15, see then that you walk circumspectingly, not as fools, but as wise. Do you all hear this? And I've read this before. Yeah, absolutely. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Didn't I say that? Wherefore be ye not unwise. Here it is. Here it is. But understanding what the will of the Lord is. And the will of the Lord is that you do not live a lifestyle of sinning. You hear me? And understanding what the will of the Lord is. And people say, how do I know what his will is? His word is his will. And didn't Jesus say, come on, Holy Spirit, my mother and brother and sister are those who do the will of my father who is in heaven. You see that? Do you see how the Holy Spirit will do that? If you put the word in you, he going to bring it about you. He said, I'll bring all things to your remembrance. He is the greatest teacher. 'ing to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, and you think you can't sing in the spirit, yes, you can, yes, you can, and you can pray in the Holy Ghost, and yes, you can, and I'm coming back on with that, oh, I got to her up, because see the war we're fighting is in the spirit, we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and evil spirits, and wicked spirits in high places. Now, I didn't quote that verbatim, but it's, it's principalities in high places, evil, wicked spirits. And you know where they are? In all the kingdoms of the world. They're running them. Didn't I tell you that? There are fallen angels and Nephilim spirits and human beings running the kingdoms of the world. Then you got the reptilians. You got the C to the L to the O N E. You got the Dracos. You got the Greys. Warlocks and witches. And they fall in the uh, brick and mortar. Most of the leaders today is Shiva spirits. They're full of controlling spirits. My Bible tell me where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And that means whatever he called you to be, I don't care if you was the pinky, the pinky toe. Do you know the foot can't balance, balance, walk with a balance if it wasn't for the pinky toe? Oh, yes. And guess who told me that? A nurse. I didn't even know it. I said one day, I don't care if I'm the pinky toe, ma'am, sister. And she said, that's something you would say that, Miss Marsha. No, she said, Sister Marsha, because the pinky toe causes the whole body to walk in balance. Okay. This is something else, you all. This is the Holy Spirit. Giving thanks always for all things unto Yahweh and the Father in the name, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Giving thanks always for all things unto Yahweh and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he stopped there, but he should have went on. Submitting yourselves one to another in the Lord, unto the Lord. Say it again. 
verse 21, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of Yahweh. See, I, see, I didn't even read it right. Let's read it again. Verse 21, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of Yahweh. You see that? I thought it says unto Yahweh. It says fear. Mm -mm. These leaders don't fear God and they don't fear the God in you. No, they don't even respect true saints, but they will. They, they fin to very soon. So I thank goodness for that man of God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And then when he said giving thanks, he said it's not good for us to complain. The Lord wants us to be children of thanksgiving. And I said, wow, wow, wow. And it's one thing to want to vent and get things off your chest. I'm not talking about that, saints. But I mean, just to be such a complainer where you're ungrateful for what things he has done. To be able to thank him for what he's going to do. The brother with the man of God was on point. And then, you know, a sad thing happened. Do you want me to tell it, Lord? No, I'm not going to tell it. Nope. Ain't, he said, wait, don't, don't, not right now. You all, the Lord is coming for true worshipers. He is not coming for the disobedient. He is coming for the obedient. And I'm going to leave it right there, saints, because I'm hungry and I'm ready to get that chicken sandwich. I love you all. God bless and keep you. For it's in him we live, move, and have our being. Do you hear that? Pray for Carlton Pearson. That he would have the wherewithal and enough humility and good sense and, 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 and conviction of heart to call on the Lord before he takes his last breath. You all hear me? Yes, indeed. Pray for these leaders. Because tick-tock, tick-tock, tick-tock. We're running out of time. And did you hear how it says, redeem the time? Redeem it. Let's deal with it, you all, while we got a slither of time. Do you hear me? I can't even hardly see through that. I love you all. God bless and keep you. Bye-bye.